All right, so now we're going to look at one last example of finding a derivative using the chain rule. So here we've got 5x minus 1 plus x squared cubed all raised to the ninth. So actually we're going to have to do the chain rule twice on this one, um, or a couple times, a few times, um, more than once. So okay, so to take the derivative, okay, I'm going to work again kind of outside uh, in. So to me the power, this kind of exponent of 9, that's, when, that's what's on the most outside. So again, if I have some, you know, like x to the ninth power, I would get 9x to the eighth power. So I'm going to get 9, but again, here we leave the inside alone. So 5x minus 1 plus x squared cubed. And then we would have to take 1 away from the exponent, so that'll give us to the power of 8. And now, kind of the way I think about it is, in my head, I kind of get rid of the, that part. Okay, I've done the derivative, I've kind of uh, taken the derivative of the, the, you know, the part including the exponent of 9, that's why I got this. So now I move a little bit more inside. So then I have to take the derivative of 5x, well the derivative of 5x is just going to give us 5, minus, and then I think, well now I have to take the derivative of 1 plus x squared cubed, well, okay, so on this part, we're going to actually have to use the chain rule again. The 3 will come out front, so we'll have 3 times 1 plus x squared. We'll take 1 away from the exponent, which will give us 2. And now, okay, so we've kind of taken the derivative of the 5x part, we took the derivative of the exponent part. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside. So the derivative of 1 is just 0. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. And now we have our derivative. So um, in terms of simplification, um, I don't see a tremendous amount to do. So I'm going to leave the 5. You can't really do much in this first set of uh, you know, brackets. You don't want to cube this and then raise it to the 8th power. At least I wouldn't want to. Um, and then we have 5 minus, I guess we could do 3 times 2x, that would give us 6x. Then we still have 1 plus x squared squared. Um, but I think at this point I would probably leave it alone. Um, again, there's nothing really that you can factor out that I see readily. Um, and again, I, I just wouldn't want to start expanding this stuff out and, you know, raising it to powers. I don't, there's no good reason to do so. So. All right, there's our derivative again. Um, in that case, we had to be a, a little careful because we had to use this, uh, this chain rule a few times.